I think, yeah, very few people know about this other than people, yeah, who we saw, who we showed. So Pyrodrone has released a new house brand. It's called Pyroflex. Uh, they were, they've, on their website, they're also selling TPU Pyroflex filament. Uh, but they've got a website, pyroflex.io. And Pyroflex is the new venture from Pyrodrone um, into the 3D printing world. And so we reached out to Pyrodrone. I reached out to Pyrodrone for, uh, to find out what was going on with that. Because we were like, hey, you know, we found this website and there's printers here and this is coming soon. So what, what exactly is happening? And so, uh, yeah, they basically reached out to us or reached back out and said, uh, oh, yeah, no one can read to... what they said because this is such a wide screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we've been developing Pyroflex to become its own standalone brand. Ryan, Serge's son, uh, will be uh, the owner and runner of uh, Pyroflex. And they'll be working to, they have several dealers and wholesale buyers, and they're going to be working to build a 3D printing brand around that Pyroflex name. So Yeah, D DC says in the chat, what's to say they're not just branding some white label filament? Well, I mean, I think we assume that's what they're doing. I think but, most filaments are white label, yeah. Yeah. But what's interesting about this is when we first saw this, it was in the new product roundup, and we found it on Pyro's new products page. And we're py like, Pyroflex filament. What do you do in Pyrodrone? But then we actually asked them for a statement, and they answered and said, well, actually, we're branching out into 3D printing. And so, like, if it is, in fact, uh, just like a white label, then I don't know what value there is there. Like if all I'm doing is I'm buying an Ender 3, but it's labeled the Pyro 3, there's no value there. But if they are, there's a lot of room for value add services in 3D printing. If they are able to support their users and support the printers in a meaningful way, then sure, sell me an Ender 3 with a Pyrodrone label on it for $350 instead of $200, and then answer the phone when it's not printing right and make it work for me, and I will consider that money well spent. So it really remains to be seen what they're going to provide. But I think there's potential here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we'll definitely have to see what they do, but I think it's interesting that they've decided to branch out and not just like, mm -hmm. I don't know, if they were just white labeling filament, then they wouldn't have a printer page. And right. know, I'm interested to know, like, yeah, how deep they go into this and what, the, what, the, what it'll actually mean. 800 grams for $30 says long dollar bill. Now nah, I'm good. Yeah. That's true. One of the problems they're going to come up to come up against is just competing with Amazon where you can go buy, you know, same smart TPU or whatever TPU you would usually use for similar or better prices and have a chip with prime for free to your front door. So correct. Yeah. Correct.